हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल फोर्स इन लर्निंग दिस इज सेशन 60 इन अल्कोहल्स इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस दैट नेम एंड रिएक्शन ऑफ अल्कोहल्स पेनोकोल पेनोकोलोन रीअरेंजमेंट्स इन पेनोकोल पेनोकोलोन रीअरेंजमेंट्स विसनल डाइओल्स व्हेदर इट इज एसाइक्लिक और साइक्लिक विसनल डाइओल्स कन्वर्ट्स इनटू कीटोन्स इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एसिड एंड In previous session, we discussed a few examples of which one comma two dimethyl cyclohexane, one comma two diol. This one, upon reaction with HClO4, its acid perchloric acid is acid in presence of perchloric acid. Here we are getting two products. One simply by migrating of methyl group, and another one by migrating of methyl group, CH2 group migration. So. This one we have mentioned that greater than ninety percent we learned that, and this one is less than ten percent correct. Now question is, did we get always that percentage is like that, or is there any condition, and under which condition we are going to get this six number in as major product? Let us see. If you observe clearly here, cyclohexane does not exist in planar form. It exists in chain conformation. In chain conformation, there are two possibilities here. Case one, cis form. In cis form, and case two, trans form. Say this one is a trans. Both methyl groups are axial. This one is a trans form, and one more cis conformation also possible here. In cis conformation, here O H group X L, and here O H group is equal to L, and here methyl X L, here methyl is equal to L. So trans and cis, there are two conformations are possible. Now let us see. For these two conformations, how mechanism proceeds? I'm going to consider first trans conformation. In case of trans conformation, CH3 here and OH here OH CH3. This one upon acidification by protonation, one of the OH group get converts into OH2 plus. One of the OH group converts into OH2 plus, and here this methyl remains such as such. Now, after leaving this water molecule, we are going to get carbocation. So, since carbocation it is trivalent planar, we are we cannot say X and D put the real substance here. Here CH3. Right now, here methyl group is going to migrate instead of methyl group migration. Here methyl group migration is highly difficult. That's why this C C bond is going to migrate. Resultant, we are getting five member ring, and here point two charge we are getting. So, CH3 and this carbon is here and this carbon consists of OH and one CH3 here positive charge also there one two three four five this one is nothing but five member ring here five member ring one position occupied by methyl and the same carbon is attached to carbon OH and the CH3 plus Now this oxygen containing lone pair will be given to positive charge carbon carbocation. Resultant we are getting CH3 and we are C double bond OH plus and CH3. Now this OH bond is going to break. Means H plus comes out. CH3 C double bond O CH3. I used to consider trans isomer. In case of trans isomer, first protonation of OH group, 
and OH2 plus will live away. After leaving OH2 plus, we are getting carbocation, and after formation of carbocation, this methylene group is going to migrate. Here, methyl group cannot migrate, means stereochemistry do not support for migration of methyl group. In such a case, we are adding carbocation here, and this carbocation for this polyethyl charge carbocation, this oxygen is going to donate our compare and it converts into C double bond OH plus, and by breaking up OH bond, we are getting C double bond O group. That means in this case, we are getting 5 membrane product as laser product because of for methyl migration more convenient rather than methyl migration. Now, let us see in case of in case of cis isomer, what happens? I am going to consider cis isomer. In cis isomer, suppose we have methyl group. Here CH3 and here OH, here CH3. This one upon acidification means protonation. Here one of the OH group gets protonated. And I am going to mention here OH2 plus here. And this methyl group higher. And this CH3 and OH. Now this OH2 group is going to live away. And resultant, we are getting carbocation. That carbocation formation like this here CH3 plus and CH3 OH. Now, if you observe the difference in between these two, by migration of methyl group, by migration of methyl group here. The same case there, what happened? Instead of methyl migration, methyl migration takes place. Here, methyl group is going to migrate. By migration of methyl group, here also methyl group migration is highly difficult. Just like here also, same case will land. So, if methyl migration takes place, here if methyl migration is possible, here also methyl migration will be possible. Because of in both cases carbocation that is plana means here also methyl migration is highly difficult and what happened here methylene shift only takes place and if methyl shift takes place of course that is least possible product if a methyl methyl shift takes place then we are getting CH3 CH3 OH here positive charge and by donating electron pair to this one. Positive charge carbon, we are getting OH and this is CH3, CH3. After losing proton further, we are getting cyclohexanone, 2 comma 2 dimethyl cyclohexanone. So now I wrote here both mechanisms 1 comma 2 dimethyl cyclohexane, 1 comma 2 diol. We learned that we are going to get 90% of this product, 5 number ring product. Only less than 10% product, we are getting 6 number product. So, by making which isomer, sir? Whatever the isomer, whether it is a cis or a trans, we are getting same content. Whether it is a cis isomer or a trans isomer, we are getting same content. Means, sir. Here we may think like that, maybe stereochemistry different, here methyl group migration may be possible, maybe in case of trans methyl migration is not possible, in case of cis it may be possible. No, whether it is a trans or a cis, comparing to methyl migration, methylene migration means CH2 group is going to migrate, means cis is bonded pair of electrons will be shifted. And uh, resultant, this 5 membered ring, 6 membered ring carbocation, highly difficult, only 5 membered carbocation formation takes place. Students, so far we learned 3 examples for pentacol pentacolonary element. Let us have a look for 4th example. Here, 4 membered ring, 4 membered ring consisting 2 phenyl groups and 2 OH groups. Again, this is visceral diol. This one upon reaction with the acid. 
So what we are expecting product? So what products are nothing new here? So from first onwards, we are learning the same mechanism. So what happened? H plus come and attack upon one of the OH two, and OH two converts into good living OH two plus, and after converting that H two will live away. Obviously, one of the group has to migrate. Let us see. We will do the same. Here, four member ring, phenyl group, and OH two plus. Here, phenyl group and OH. Now, this OH two plus will give away as H two O. Resultant, we are getting here carbocation. Which is planar here phenyl here OH. Now, if you observe here, after formation of carbocation, we are expecting phenyl group migration takes place. Basically, phenyl group has more migratory attitude. That's why, if this phenyl group migration takes place, if so, if that happen, then we are getting product here phenyl here phenyl. And here we have H bearing positive charge. Next step, we know very well. Here this oxygen is going to donate pair of electrons. Then we are getting here double bond O H plus. And finally, this H plus will comes out. Then we are getting two comma two diphenyl cyclobutanone. Two comma two diphenyl. Cyclobutanone, but instead of getting this product, instead of getting this product, we are getting something different. Let us see how it is. Instead of migrating this phenyl, what happened? No, here the CC bond is going to migrate. Instead of migrating of phenyl group, CC bond will migrate. Then what happened? One, two, three. There will be a formation of three-membered ring. There will be a formation of three member ring here, and this one is attached to phenyl. And now this carbon is this one, and this one attached to one OH and one phenyl. Here it bears positive charge. Now, whether reaction proceeds via formation of this carbocation or via formation of this carbocation, that we came to know by observing which carbocation is. More stable. Now let us see here. This carbocation, it is secondary carbocation, and OH group shows plus some effect. Fine. And here this one is again secondary carbocation, but phenyl group is there. Plus some, it shows resonance, and OH shows plus some. And in addition to that, this is cyclopropyl carbocation because of bent orbital overlapping. This carbocation is more stable. So you see here, compared to three member ring, four member ring is more stable in general. We are going to learn, and so far we learned that three member ring ring expansion takes place to four member ring. But here what happened? Four member ring ring contracts to three member ring because of this carbocation is more stable. Means here this product you are not supposed to get as major, and this product we are getting as major. Now here what happened? Oxygen is going to red electron pair, and now onwards you know we have the mechanism here. Three member ring, and this one is a phenyl group. Here C double bond O H two plus, and this one is a phenyl. And here after losing proton, we are getting product B H C double bond O B H. So this product is a major product, and that product four member ring product is minor product. So whatever we are expecting, whatever we are expecting, that product we may not get. So we should be careful and we have to notice that which intermediate is more stable. Students, have a look here. In this example, I am going to use same reagent. Looks like same reagent here. Bismuth diol. As I click bismuth diol, in presence of sulfuric acid at zero degrees Celsius, one reagent, and another reagent is sulfuric acid in presence of acetic anhydride. 
So in both cases, we are getting different products. Let us see what product formation takes place. In first case with H2SO4, with H2SO4 at 0 degrees Celsius, we are getting pH, CH3, pH, C double bond O, CH3. Whereas in case of H2SO4 and acetic hydride, we are going to get product pH, C double bond O, C, here pH, CH3, CH3. We are getting two different products. But from that products we came to know. Here, in first case, maybe carbocation formation here, and in second case, carbocation formation takes place here. Let us see the mechanism how these two reactions are proceeding. So, first case pH COH, pH COH, CH3, CH3. In this case, upon acidification, either of these two OH groups has to protonate, but Whatever that OH group, in general, both are same, we are going to say. But ultimately, it has to lead more stable carbocation. But for more stable carbocation formation, protonation takes place at this OH group, resultant pH, C plus. Here, I am going to write directly step, water molecule losing, and we are getting pH, C, pH, and here OH, CH3, CH3. And next step, methyl migration takes place. Methyl migration takes place, then we are getting here product pH, C, CH3, pH, and COH, CH3 plus. And later, oxygen is going to return compared to carbocation, and deprotonation takes place. So, product we are getting quite regular product. This one is a regular product. So, quite natural moisture form and formation of moisture carbocation, later methyl migration. So, this one is product quite common. But how you are going to get this product? Let us see. So, uh, in second case, pH COH to pH, COH to CH3, CH3. In this case, upon acidification, here we are using. Acetic anhydride. We are using acetic anhydride. Means uh, acidation takes place. What takes place? Acidation takes place. Where acidation takes place? Here and oxygen. Where acidation takes place? At oxygen. That means here either this oxygen or this oxygen has to donate, has to donate uh, compared to Acylenium carbocation. Acylenium carbocation. That means what mechanism exactly here takes place, you know? First of all, acetic anhydride is there. This acetic anhydride, CH3, C double bond O, O, C double bond O, CH3. This one upon acidification means when we are using sulfuric acid, then if we protonates here, this oxygen, CH3, C double bond O plus this one is acylenium carbocation which is electrophile and CH3 COOH so we are getting CH3 CO plus that means acylation takes place now for that acylation either the aid of these two oxygens has to provide electron pair but unexpectedly this oxygen is unable to donate its electron pair because of this oxygen containing carbon is attached to much more bulky group here because of the presence of phenyl groups because of the presence of phenyl groups this oxygen is not going to donate electron pair preferably this oxygen donates electron pair to acylenium carbocation here what happened? pH pH, COH, pH and here O this OH converts into OH plus CO, CH3 and here it is CH3 and CH3. Now, here OH bond is going to break, H plus comes out, pH, COH, pH and CO, C double bond O, CH3, here methyl group and here methyl group. Now, out of OH and OCOCH3, yeah, this OCOCH3 is good living group. That is good living group. That means what I have here, product? 
pH, COH, pH, C, and here carbocation, then CH3, CH3. Hope you got the point here. Formation of carbocation in first place, phenyl group contains carbon only base positive charge, and we learned that the carbon is, that positive charge carbon is more stable. Whereas in this case, we just because of steric hindrance, just because of steric hindrance, here protonation, protonate means acylation do not take place, and this OH group means phenyl group carbon, phenyl group containing carbon containing OH. Here acylation do not take place, and acylation takes place, hydrogen carbon resultant we are getting carbocation. Now phenyl group migration takes place. Because of phenyl group migration, we are pH, OH, CPH, CH3, CH3, and we are positive charge. Now, this by involving this electron pair, so deprotonation also takes place. I am going to write directly here pH, C double bond O, here C, pH, CH3, CH3. So, here, students, two different cases from the same substrate. And just in absence of acylating agent, in presence of acylating agent. Difference is only in absence of acylating agent and in presence of acylating agent, what products we are going to get. Students, next example, next example, sixth one. In this case, carbon is attached to one phenyl group and one ortho methoxy phenyl So both the both the carbon atoms, OH group containing carbon atoms, are attached to the same groups, one is phenyl, another one is Argo metoxy phenyl. Now what happened here? H plus one of the OH group, one of the OH group gets protonated, C converts into OH2 plus and OCH3. Here OH and this one is going to attach to phenyl and OCH3. So now this one will live away and ultimately we are getting carbocation. Phenyl group carbocation. Here OCH3. And this one consists OH. Phenyl and Argo methoxy. So after formation of this carbocation, which group is going to migrate? In general, in previous session we learned that. More the electron releasing the nature of the group, more the migrating attitude. And second one, more the bulkiness of the group, more the migrating attitude. Now, here we, it is very clear of these two graphs we are expecting. Argo methoxy, because of here we can't possess any methoxy, and here methoxy group is there, as we know that methoxy group is plus side group. But yesterday, means in previous session, we learned that one point. We learned that one point that is compared to ortho methoxy phenyl, phenyl group has a more migrating attitude because of here ortho methoxy it causes more steric hindrance because of it causes more steric hindrance. That's why what happened here? Phenyl group migration takes place rather than ortho methoxy phenyl. Now we are getting product here. This one is one phenyl group. And this carbon consists one more phenyl group and consists one methoxy, ortho methoxy phenyl, then COH, and here ortho methoxy phenyl still remains as such. Now here carbocation. Now this oxygen is going to donate electron pair, then we are getting product, further deprotonation also. C double bond O. This is the product. Students, 
नेक्स्ट सेवेंथ एग्जांपल CF3COH फिनाइल ग्रुप COH CF3 फिनाइल ग्रुप इट इज आल्सो विसनल डायओड एसाइक्लिक विसनल डायओड सो फार व्हाट एवर द एग्जांपल्स वी डिस्कस इन ऑल द केसेस वी नोटिस दैट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्टेबल कार्बोकैटियन means via formation of stable carbocation reaction proceeds and the product what we are getting that also means with more stable carbocation now let us see what happened here we are expecting generally upon acidification one of the OH group gets protonate CF3COH2 plus and here phenyl this OH remains as such CR3 and PH. Now, this will leave away by leaving that OH2 group means H2O. We are getting CR3, C plus, and phenyl group here OH, CH3, PH. Now, we need to think once whether the formed carbocation is stable or not. See here, this positive charge. This positive charge destabilized by this positive charge is destabilized by strong minus I effect of CF3. Destabilized by strong minus I effect of CF3. Because of CF3 you pays a strong minus I effect, hence this carbocation is destabilized. You may get one doubt. So what happens here? Phenyl group is there. So whenever phenyl group is there, this carbocation we can say benzyl carbocation, benzyl carbocation. So we can see in such a way, if we observe that, in such a way, benzyl carbocation is more stable. Means this positive charge can be stabilized by phenyl group. We can say like that, of course, here phenyl group can be stabilized, but whenever phenyl group gives itself compared to, gives itself compared to carbon, Obviously, what happened here? Slowly, its arrow mist is going to lose, right? That's why. Means once a phenyl group, if it gives its electron pair towards point to charge, then because of strong minus I tendency, three more electron into fluorine atoms are there. Because of the presence of more electron into fluorine atoms, three are there here. Yeah. What happened? Here, this carbocation destabilized means this phenyl ring also not going to donate its pi electrons. So, if, if it happens like that, then it cannot get back its pi electrons, means it do not retain its aromaticity, means ultimately it is going to lose its aromaticity. That's why, even though we are expecting this carbocation formation like that, formal carbocation is unstable. Suppose in the same and similar example, I am going to cancel here CF3COHPH and COHCH3PH. In such a case, we can expect that formation of carbocation here. Because here carbocation formation takes place, here formation of carbocation takes place, resultant we are getting product CPH and here positive charge. CH3PH here both methyl and phenyl both are strong stabilizing they can stabilize carbocation they can stabilize carbocation and ultimately CF3 phenyl of which phenyl group is going to migrate phenyl group is going to migrate resultant we are getting CF3 COH plus and C phenyl methyl and here also phenyl ultimately this one is going to donate electron pair and further deprotonation also takes place CF3 C double bond O here two phenyl groups and one methyl group here this product formation takes place but in this case because of carbocation is unstable further reaction not takes place means we can say this one, this compound do not give any pentacol pentacolone type reaction. Means pentacol pentacolone rearrangement is not possible in this case. Whereas, say here it is possible.